Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Sam and today I am going to show you how to do an eyelash lift and tint on your own lashes at home using products that you can purchase from Amazon. I do have to give a little disclaimer. Anytime you are doing anything around your eye area, especially when you're using chemicals like we're going to be doing today, you need to be so, so careful. Do this at your own risk. I am a licensed cosmetologist. I'm certified in doing eyelash lift and tints. So I have experience with this, which is the only reason why I feel comfortable and safe enough to do this on myself. It might be easier to grab a friend or a family member and have them do this for you while you lay back with your eyes closed. Um, I find that it's easier to do this on someone else as opposed to doing it on yourself. But either way, I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps how to do it, share some tips and tricks. If you are gonna be doing this on someone else, I suggest sitting on a bed, putting a pillow in your lap, and then having the person lay on their back flat with their head on the pillow so that their head is about chest level to you, so that way you can work from the top of their head. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the tutorial. So this is the kit that I'm gonna be using. I got it from Amazon. Let me pull my hair out of my face so first let me go over everything that you're gonna need no matter what kit you get even if you have one that's different than this exact one the steps and the products and tools that you're gonna be using is always gonna be the same for the actual perm itself there's always going to be two products step one which is going to be your perm solution this is going to break down the cuticle of your eyelashes and it's what's going to help mold it into the new shape and then step two, your neutralizer, that is going to lock it into place. So think if you were like m trying to mold plastic or something, right? You would need to heat it up first, then mold it into whatever shape you want, and then cool it down so that it holds and hardens into that new shape. That's basically what we're doing with our eyelash hair. And then most kits are usually going to have some kind of lash conditioner. In this kit, it's labeled as number three nutrition. All it is is just like a conditioner. Honestly, I don't ever use that. This process, because it's a chemical process, it can kind of dry the hair out a little bit. So it's totally up to you. It's optional if you want to use that or not. And then you're going to also have a cleanser, typically in most kits. This is going to help clean and prep the lashes before you begin the lifting process and then also help clean off any residue after you're done. Then you're going to need your rods. This is what you're going to be gluing your lashes to and this is what's going to give them the new shape that we're going to be molding and perming our eyelashes into and there's going to be multiple different sizes depending on the length of your lashes and also the type of look you're going for which we will get into in a second then you're also going to have a glue i really love the glue in this particular kit you're going to need this to glue the rod down to your eyelid and then glue your lashes onto that rod to hold them in place while you're doing the perming process and then you're going to need your little comb some kind of little plastic pick looking tool like this one. This is what you're going to use to actually lift your lashes onto that rod. Some kits are going to come with these under eye patches. I honestly don't ever use these when I'm doing this process on myself because you have to have your eyes open when you're doing it on yourself. These are used if you're doing this process on someone else and they're going to have their eyes closed during the process. This is what will hold those bottom lashes down and keep them out of the way so that you're not lifting the bottom lashes up with the top lashes. But again, if you are doing this process on yourself, you don't have to worry about those. I find that they just get in the way. And then you're going to need some cotton tip applicators. You can use a Q-tip. This is what you're gonna use to apply the solution onto your lashes. And then an eyelash spoolie mascara wand kind of brush to brush through the lashes at the end when we're done. So I'm starting off with a nice clean eye area. I'm gonna use the cleanser though, just to really make sure my actual lashes themselves, like the hairs, are nice and clean. I'm gonna make sure there's no oil, sweat, dirt, etc. You want your lashes and your lids to be nice and clean so that you get the best results possible. And uh, also if your lids are Kind of oily it's gonna be like impossible to glue the rod down it's gonna be a huge pain so the cleaner and drier your eye area 
the better. Now we're gonna pick what kind of rods we wanna use. As you can see, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> My lashes are decently long. And also, I like my lashes to just look more lifted as opposed to like really curled because I feel like when they start to curl in and you have more of like a C shape curl going on, then you don't see the length of your lashes as much because they start to like curl in. You don't see the length as much as opposed to if they're just lifted up like this. This is the kind of shape that I like. I want them to not be as curled. I want them to just be lifted like straight up as much as possible. And if you're not sure which rod length to use, just take a rod, place it right on your upper lash line, and then take that tool and kind of brush the lashes up. If they are extending past the tip here of the rod, then that means that the rod is going to be too short. So I'm actually going to use the medium size rods. Depending on the kit that you use, some of the rods are going to say left eye and right eye, and they're going to be shaped slightly differently. So make sure you're paying attention to that. This kit that I have, the rods are all exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which eye you put which rod on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> This is the most tedious, annoying part, so strap in. We're going to take our glue and our first rod. I do suggest if you are doing this on yourself for the first time, you might feel more comfortable doing one eye at a time. I'm going to start by applying the glue to the back side of the rod, so like the curved in side. You want to make sure you're fully coating it, but you don't want to go too heavy handed with the glue because if you have too thick of a layer then it won't stick as well. And then you're going to place this, I find the easiest way to do it is grab it from the top like this with your thumb and your pointer finger and then come up from above your head and then place it down and start with the outer corner and then bring it down in the inner corner and then you want to hold it there for like huh, I would say like 30 seconds probably just to make sure it really sticks down the corners can be a pain depending on the shape of your eye they tend to want to like pop up but think of it it's like the same as like applying a strip lash basically so if you're really good at applying strip lashes this won't be too, too difficult for you. Once you have the rod on there, even if it's not like perfectly secure, I don't know if you can tell, mine's like definitely trying to lift up a little bit in the corners, but that's okay. Once we get these lashes glued down, it'll kind of hold everything in place. So you're gonna take your glue again and work in sections, little at a time. So I'm gonna apply the glue to the rod starting in the outer corner. If you apply the glue all over the entire rod at once, um, it's gonna start to dry quicker than you'll be able to work and then it'll just be a hot mess. Give the glue a couple seconds to get tacky and then you should be able to just lift the lashes right onto that rod and then you wanna go through and separate as best you can because whatever shape they are in when they're on the rod, that's the shape that they are going to permanently stay in. So if they're kind of wonky and twisted up, they're gonna look like that after you're done. You really wanna take your time with this and try to get them on here as straight as possible and have them be as separated as possible. section is glued I'm gonna move over towards the middle let it get a little tacky and I find that it's easier to just like lift a few lashes up 
get them like somewhat stuck to the rod first and then before the glue is completely dry comb through them and get them all separated and straight. And honestly, those are all the tips I have for you when it comes to this part. The rest of this just takes patience. Then once you're done, you might have a few lashes, I don't know if you can tell, that um, are popping up, especially if they're like a little bit shorter. So I just take a little bit of glue, tap it on those lashes, and then brush them up. Okay, so there is one eye done. Is it 100% perfect? No, but is it uh, as good as it's gonna get for me? Yes. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye. But like I said, if you are doing this for the first time ever on yourself and you feel more comfortable just doing one eye at a time, I suggest doing that. But I'm gonna get this side glued off camera and then I'll be right back. I will say this is the first time that I am ever doing both eyes at the same time and it's a little hard to see right now <laughs> but next step you're gonna take your cotton tip applicator or your q-tip whatever you're using step one perm solution get a good amount of product on there and very 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 carefully please don't get this in your eye you're gonna apply this on the rod onto your lashes try to get as close to the root of your lashes like that lash line without you know obviously getting too close to your eye I don't really put product on the tips of the lashes because they're more porous and you could um, they could end up looking like a little bit damaged Try to avoid getting this on your skin as well. Once step one is applied, toss out your applicator because you don't want to mix that in with any of the other products. And then we're going to set a timer. Read the instructions that come with the particular kit that you're using. Typically it's going to be around 10 to 12 minutes for most like non-professional kits. That you want to leave this on for but make sure that you're following the instructions that come with your kit that's very important if you leave this on too long you can damage your lashes and potentially like melt them off so i set my timer for 11 minutes so i'm just gonna sit still let this process and then once the timer goes off we will wipe this off and move on to step two timer just went off so now i'm gonna take a clean q-tip and very carefully wipe the product off and be careful when you are applying the product and taking it off that you're not disturbing the lashes too much especially now when we go to apply step two this is remember locking everything in place so wherever your lashes are positioned right now is where they're gonna stay after I wipe that off I like to just go through and make sure everything is sticking upright then we're gonna take step two 
Q-tip, cotton applicator, whatever you have. Just make sure it's clean. We're going to apply this exact same way we applied step one. And then however long you left step one on for, you're going to leave step two for the exact same amount of time. So again, setting my timer for 11 minutes. Once I goes off, we will wipe this off and be done. Next, we're gonna take that cleanser again and I'm gonna go along the edges of the rod and just slowly loosen that glue. You wanna be careful that you don't like rip this off because uh, you don't wanna rip your lashes out. I'm going to go onto the rod, loosen the lashes from it, and not tug. I'm just going to kind of let it loosen and fall by itself. Take your mascara spoolie and brush through, remove any glue, product residue that's on them. That's how they look afterwards. So you can see, they just make my eyes look a lot more open. You can actually see my lashes more. Now the last thing that you can do, and this is optional of course, but personally I like doing this because my actual lash hairs are not super, super dark, and that is tinting them. The particular tint that I'm using is from the brand Belmacil. This is a professional only tint, but they have tons of non-professional ones on Amazon, and they all do the exact same thing and all work the exact same way. So I will find one on Amazon and link it in the description, and I will also link this particular one if you are a licensed beauty professional so i'm just going to take a little bit of tint mix that with equal parts developer and i'm just going to use an eyebrow brush mix that up now this is when i will use those under eye patches and this really is just to protect my skin from staining and actually usually i will apply the tint well, I still have the lashes glued to the rod because it just makes it a lot easier and less messy. Totally forgot to do that this time. And then this is going to sit and process for 10 minutes. So here's how the lashes look after the lift and the tint. There's like a little bit of residue still kind of around my eyes, so everything looks a little bit dark. But I just wiped the tint off with the tissue and then brushed through them with the spoolie. Now, as far as aftercare instructions go, this is very, very important. The number one rule is do not get your lashes wet for at least 24 hours. Don't get them wet, don't put any mascara or eye makeup on, but that's pretty much it. It's very easy and low maintenance. The tint usually doesn't last as long depending on what type you use. Um, normally that'll only last a couple of weeks or so, but the lift will last at least six to eight weeks. Your lash hairs are permanently forever going to stay lifted and curled but our lashes do shed just like the hair on our head and the rest of our body so within a six to eight week period all of the lashes that you currently have that are now permed are going to naturally shed and then of course you know as your new lashes grow in they're going to be your normal natural curl pattern or lack thereof so gradually over time you'll kind of notice that they're looking less lifted it's really important to not repeat this process until it's been at least six to eight weeks if you do the perm on top of lashes that have already been permed you can over process the lashes and damage them yeah i love doing this it's a little bit of a more subtle difference compared to like eyelash extensions of course but i do think that it makes a big difference in the way that your face looks and when i am not wearing any makeup i feel like my face just looks like more awake and it just it just adds like a little something 
draws more attention to your eyes. That is it for this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful. I will have links to everything that I used and mentioned in the description. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a lot. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more from me and also follow me over on Instagram. Other than that, I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!